All right, everyone. So we got our dried fruit here that's finished and I wanted to go over it with you and do a taste test and uh, just talk a little bit more about drying fruit in the dehydrator, which we actually have right over here. Um, as I've said in the first video, we did a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago at this point. Um, dehydrating your food for the winter time, a lot of your fruit is awesome. Um, there's a ton of benefits to it. I highly recommend it. Um, everybody should be drying their food, especially if it's going to go bad. Um, and there's certain things that, especially now in the fall, that we just have in high abundance that actually dry quite well and taste really great when dried. One of the things I love are the bananas to form banana chips and they're incredible. This is one of my favorite dried fruits as we talked about. I love the date. The date's number one, but when you have you know, black bananas or bananas that are just getting too ripe, it's very simple. Just chop them up into slices and put them on a, in the dehydrator and they come out fantastic and they're preserved. You know, they don't go bad at this point. In fact, all this fruit here has been sitting out on my counter. I've been trying to do this video for a bit, but it's been sitting out on my counter for about a week and all of it is still perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, it holds up for a very long time and I would suggest putting it in a bag, you know, some kind of plastic, but uh, this stuff, including the jujubes especially, they'll last for up to a year. So the bananas are really good. I highly recommend that. The date is my favorite, and the second favorite here is the persimmon. When you dry this into slices, they form really awesome kind of a fruit leather in a way. You can take the skin off if you want, I find it adds a little bit extra texture, you know, dried fruit in my opinion is a lot about the texture. And we can get this to the right moisture content as well. First off, you're never going to find dried persimmons, but some of these still have, you know, a pretty good amount of moisture in them, like this one here. And they're really good like this. So I would, I would recommend leaving a little bit of moisture in there. But also the persimmon really matters, guys. We talked about a week ago that I really like to dry the hychias, especially when they're a bit soft. You know, they need to be hard when you dry them for the most part. Otherwise, you can't cut them very well into slices. But um, when they're a bit more ripe, more soft, when they're tree ripened, they come out beautifully. And the fuyus are just not of great quality when you get them at the store doing this yourself, growing your own persimmons and drying your own persimmons is just far superior. I'm sorry. Um, then we got the fig. I love dried figs. We've done a number of videos on dried figs. They all, they all have amazing flavors, by the way. You know, all these different varieties I grow, they all taste very different. Like some taste like cherries, some still taste fruity. You know, they really have interesting awesome flavors better than your standard you know dried fig that you pick up at the store and again the nice the nice thing here is you can leave a little bit of moisture in there some of these are really quite dried this one's a little bit moist as you can kind of see it's you know a little bit more pliable this is a i think right here a be all that i dried it's a big honey fig It's very different than this fig here, which I I tasted just now. This is uh, Babera Branca. They have really interesting, weird flavors that you you don't really pick up in the the fig itself. Sometimes um, it really is one of the best fruits, guys, to dry. And then the jujube here. I want to show you two different ones. We have a. Uh, the, the uh, jujube that really produced well for me this year, this was the Zhuzhou. And I also have the Li, which is the standard type. This is what you see in like Asian grocery stores right here. Um, and this one, let's see if it's good because I didn't dry it 
all the way. I let it just sit on the counter. You can see how much bigger it is, but in all honesty, this will shrivel down a bit, but it is definitely a bigger Jujube, and you can definitely see the difference between them, um, which is good. I think that's important with your Jujubes when you're drying them. But I'm wondering now if there's a difference in flavor between the two. As I've said in other videos about Jujubes is that there are certain Jujubes that are meant for eating fresh, I find, and there's some that are meant for drying. Um, all right. Well, there is a little bit of, a little bit in here I think that's gone a little bit bad. Let's check this side. Hmm. It's not really going to be something I can compare. I think it's a little fermented, maybe a little moldy. This one here, you can see the inside is getting kind of bread-like. It's almost like eating bread like you're baking you're like breaking apart a piece of bread and there's crust on the outside and it's sweet that's kind of how i picture this as a dried fruit there's a little bit of moisture in there it's like a freshly baked bread maybe a you know i don't know it's pretty damn accurate though it's like a like a a, a loaf of bread that's not fully cooked on the inside. It's a little, it's a little moist on the inside. When you cook it down a bit more, then the the inside becomes less moist. But sometimes you'll get some like that are super dried that I have here, which are not very moist. And these come out real well. Again, a fruity, sweet bread that I think is quite good. And uh, this variety Zuzio is definitely meant for drying. Same thing with Lee. Um, and as a bonus, I have a fig here. This is called Ron de Bordeaux. Look how strange that looks, especially for a Ron de Bordeaux. It doesn't even look fully dark. It actually split a bit at the eye, and I wasn't even expecting to be able to get this thing right. It's been cold. It's been quite rainy, but uh, Rondé Bardot has just an amazing bricks content. And it definitely has the ability to dry, even with like splitting in there and, and moisture getting in. It's just incredible. And I picked this one today. Today is the uh, 2nd of November. <laughs> And I was able to pick this. And look at that. That looks pretty darn good. So, sometimes you can get them to dry on the tree, especially if you have the right variety. It's not fully dried, of course, but um, I'm going to try and work on getting some of these varieties some of these figs to actually dry fully on the tree. I'm gonna see if I can accomplish that one of these years, one of these days, we're gonna try it out. And I think Ron de Bordeaux has a really high chance of that. That's really good. Quite figgy. The berry flavor is not that intense, but uh, and it's actually very jammy. It's a wonderful fig. That's awesome. And for me, that's why I highly rate Ronde Bordeaux so much. Here's a Suwati, which is a fig that can dry on the tree as well. But what I do is I pick these, and you can see some of them here on the, on the tray, is that I will pick them and cut them in half and let them sit on the tray. And I recommend you put them in the fridge because if you put them in the fridge, they're going to dehydrate. Believe it or not, in the fridge, the flavor will intensify. They actually ripen slightly, it seems like. And I had never really thought that figs will ripen off the tree, but I think they do. And they definitely are losing some of that moisture. So if maybe they're not ripening, 
maybe they're losing that moisture and the, the flavor's intensifying. Um, sometimes they will mold at a certain point, but um, I think it's worth it, you know? Um, especially if they're in the fridge, they're better than this. And they'll last longer in the fridge. This one still has a long way to go before it'll dry. But I, I, if you put it in the fridge, it's, it's much easier. It's much better. So that's the, uh, the result here, guys, of the fruit that we dried. A lot of this is going to go in bags, in containers, and we're going to have this stuff um, for a little while longer. But the goal here with a lot of these fruits, the jujubes, the, some of the figs, the, definitely the persimmons, is to have them all winter time. Um, and that would be really a great joy and will hold me over for most of the year. So, all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you soon. Uh, see you for tomorrow's video. Take care.